Welcome back, and it's finally time for us to be joined by a very interesting, uh, well, um, hmm. I call her. She's many different things, very but good. she has been pushing the culture of African clothing all over the world for many years. Mm -hmm. We're having a conversation with Princess Ronke Ademilui. Yes. She's the founder of Africa Fashion Weeks London and Nigeria. Yes. Now, she, over the past 12 years, she has produced over 20 fashion shows, including the Mayor of London's Africa uh, on these uh, square events during every Black History Month. You are welcome, ma'am. Thank you. Good, Good morning. You. I must say that I mean, can I get sunshade, somebody? Whoa! Whoa. Blinding me. <laughs> That's a tie you've got there. Thank you. And this is all you, isn't it? Yes, it is. And the fabric's actually made in Nigeria, made in Ileife. Oh, yes. Nice. So it's, uh, it, must, it feels very intentional, uh, the journey with your fabrics and your looks. We've seen quite a few of them in videos we've already <laughs> talked about. Tell, tell us a bit about that journey. Um, so um, the journey actually started um, 12 years ago when I started um, the Africa Fashion Week London, um, a platform that supports um, African designers from the African continent and the African diaspora as well. At that time, unlike now, where African fashion is everywhere, mm. you know, decades ago, yeah, no yeah. one wanted to do anything with African fashion. Mm. But, you know, so I started the Africa Fashion Week in 2011, mm. the one in London, mm. and then the one in Nigeria in 2014. Wow. wow. How did it begin exactly? What was it like when you started? Did you start from small and then it exploded? What was the reception? Um, okay, uh, I don't like doing things small because the same time and effort you have to put into doing something um, big is the same, same time you spend in doing something small. So we started big in 2011. Um, we had about 60 designers from wow. the continent of Africa. That is big. Um, about 4,700 visitors turned up. Goodness. And it's been growing since then. And the success of the first Africa Fashion Week London, you know, has inspired um, so many people to start up fashion weeks in cities around the world. Wow, Africa Fashion Week. Now, um, there is something about fashion that cuts across different cultures, countries. Um, did you ever feel obligated to make sure it um, had everything to do with Africa? Or did you try to involve other cultures as well? Mm. Um, so it's Africa Fashion Week. Yeah. It's, you know, it's promoting African fashion. It's showcasing the best of African fashion. However, um, we do have um, some other people who are not really Africans, but are interested in African fashion, African culture. Because when the designers come, they don't just come to showcase on the runway, they come with their culture. Mm -hmm. um, Africa has about, um, about 3,000 different um, tribes. Mm -hmm. And when they all come on the runway, you know, the South Africans bring theirs, the Ghanaians bring theirs, the Nigerians. So it's all a mixture of vibrant colors and culture and heritage fabrics. Wow, that's amazing. I I, I, I'm thinking there's uh, probably something happening very soon. Mm -hmm. uh, another Fashion Week coming up? Yes. Okay. So the Africa Fashion Week Nigeria, in, collabor with, uh, in collaboration with the Lagos Fashion Fair, is oh, coming yeah. up on the 7th and the 9th of September. Okay. Yes. Yeah, and then the Africa Fashion Week London as well. Okay. Our 12th edition is in October during the Black History Month in, at the Covent Gardens. I'm very interested in what you're wearing. Mm. It's Adire. You do have an Adire hub in Ileife, yes? Yes. Now, is that where this came from? This is where it came from. Mm. Tell us about the Adire hub. What is it exactly? Do you employ people? <laughs> is it like a big manufacturing outfit? What is it? <laughs> okay, so it's, um, it's uh, an indigenous Adire factory. Um, we opened it in 2021 mm. under the chairmanship of His Imperial Majesty, the Orni of Ife. Um, it was opened as a COVID bounce back facility nice. because then, you know, COVID had just gone and well, it's not really, it hasn't really gone, yeah, but yeah. then it, it had kind of, you know, mellowed down. Mm. So there wasn't anything that a lot of rural women were doing. Mm. So His Majesty and myself came up with this idea of, you know, using our heritage fabric as a wealth creation tool for, um, you know, women in the local community. Mm -hmm. And then since then, it's been growing. Um, we now work with um, the Obafemi Awolowo University, the textile right. department, you know, merging the students and then the women in the community together to come up with so many innovative and creative modern designs. These designs are exported outside Nigeria, aren't they? Oh, yes, they are. Um, so what, we have... What do people 
when they see these, I mean, people from outside Nigeria, what do they say when they see these? Oh, they they, they 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 love it, you know, because it's all handmade. It's indigenous, and you wouldn't get the same fabric. Nope, it, no, it's won't. never the same. Different. Even if the same person makes it, you know, there's always that variation. Mm. It's just like when you do your signature, mm. it's not the same. So we've got loads of different techniques that we teach at the hub, you know, the Adire Alabere, mm. the Adire Leko, the Adire Oniko, the Adire Alabela. The one I'm wearing is called the Adire Alabela, wow. which is also known as the wax resistant, the batik. Amazing. Yeah, wow. that, so that's everyone, batik. So, yeah, this is so batik, we've been talking yes. about these amazing designs for quite a bit. I think we should see some. What do you think? Oh, yeah, do yes. we get to see yeah? some? We get to see we some. We have yeah. some. Uh, oh, grand. Oh, all right. We've seen a couple on screen, mm. but we have a surprise here because she didn't just come all by herself. She mm. also <laughs> brought with her very amazing looking models, mm. uh, one of which I'm jealous because she's very, very tall. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel very, very stunted here. Yeah. But let's take a look. Where are our models? Um, where's the first model? All right. Please come on out. Let's see what you're wearing let's today. Let's introduce our first model here please today. Please describe what she's wearing. Yes, okay. Please. So, so what she's wearing is um, an Agbada set okay. made by Modella and the embellishments were made by him, but the fabric she's wearing is actually made in Ife and this is the tie-dye process, the one where we knot, we knot the fabric, we tie it, so we use the tying resistant process to resist the dye. And what she has on her head and the, the headgear she has is the batik um, fabric. Mm, yes, amazing. Wow, that is amazing. absolutely beautiful. It looks so great. Ooh, I can't so wait we, to see the back. Yeah, so okay. we play around with different colours, you know, because mm. we're all about colours, vibrancy. Mm. That's, mm. Um, that's what we are in Africa, you know, the bold, bright colours. Mm. Mm. Wow, that's fantastic. I love it, I love it. Uh, how, you could wear this anywhere. Yeah, you, yeah, you could mm. wear it casually, you could wear it, you know, on an occasion. It's just, it's free, it's easy to wear. Mm. Nice. I'm very, very interested in how exactly those colours don't mix into each other. Yeah. Yeah. It's tied? So, okay, so it's tied. So, so adire actually means adi, are. Yes. We tie it and then we soak it in oh. dye. That's what adire, adire. means, adire. Why didn't they tell me this in home economics? <laughs> <laughs> Where's so the adi, second model? Are. Okay. Yes. We have another model, by yeah. the way. Okay, let's take a look okay. at this one now. This is, ooh, nice. There mm -hmm. we go. Take a look at that now. Ooh. Oh, that nice. is beautiful. Woo! Is this the same, uh, the same, uh, adire the same method? Um, so this is a different method. So this is called adire alabere. And then mm. what we do with this is we use um, the stitching process to resist the dye. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so, so you stitch little... You stitch little, you know, patterns, patterns on it. And then before putting it in the dye, and once you put it in the dye, wow. you know, the, 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 the bits where you've stitched, mm -hmm. they, uh, they don't absorb Amazing. the dye. Wow, beautiful. that is absolutely beautiful. Oh, and um, it makes you appreciate um, uh, colour and the effect of dye on fabric. So the fabrics themselves, before they are dyed, are they mm. specific fabrics that work better with dyes? Um, only cotton fabrics. Only? Only cotton, okay. yes. Okay. So if it's silk, it has to be cotton silk. Okay. If it's um, uh, organza, it has to be the one that absorbs, you know, that is cotton-based. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because yeah. polyesters don't absorb dye. Okay. Oh. Mm, I learned that as well, you know. Goodness. <laughs> Could there be a method, however, that could actually do that? You know, polyester mm. and tie and dye. Mm. I'm sure um, there, there yeah, but I'm sure there should be, but we haven't, we're not there where we don't know that yet at the Adire Hub, but eventually, you know, as we evolve, I'm sure we'll learn a lot of. That would be certain. fantastic, you know. That would yeah, be fantastic. where you can, yeah, where you have. I'm I sure hope you there get should to do be. It first. Make sure you get to do it first. <laughs> I, 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 I hope so. Scientists and scientists, yes. Sure you do it first. Yeah, but we're, we're also trying to, you know, look at a lot of um, less chemical based mm. dyes, natural dyes, mm. you know, because of sustainability, the environment as well, mm. you know, dyes that are not harmful to, to the environment mm. as well. Mm. You know what? I, I, I'm such a fashion freak. I want to see those models again. Where are our Can models? Can we out? have our models back out again? And our I, models? Think, I feel like we should be doing more of these kinds of fabrics. I, I wanted to... I wanted. To, I, I feel very intimidated by... Uh, what's, what's, what's your name again? <laughs> what's your name? What's your name? <laughs> Favour. 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 I'm Favor. very intimidated by Favour. I was wondering if I could stand right next to Favour. Am I allowed to go yeah. stand <laughs> Go, go right. ahead. Go on, Mazino. You know Guys. you want to. This you know you want to. <laughs> this doesn't often happen. <laughs> I, I can't, She's I don't know beautiful. what's going on here. And yeah, both of them are beautiful. Amazing, it. it just... But yeah, as you know, yeah, yeah, I don't... This fabric you are wearing is not working. Oh yeah, come back. <laughs> come on. <laughs>
<laughs> but uh, really amazing work. Thank I, I, you. We can't wait to see more on the runway. Thank you. And more amazing pieces. And uh, yes. thank you for what you do. For so thank, long you've been doing you. this, uh, pushing our culture out there. Yes, and I think we should, do, we, we should be doing more of that yes, too. Please, please just continue carrying that flag. Thank Make you. it fly high. Yeah. Please thank continue you. pushing our tradition, our culture and all of thank that. You. you look fantastic, by thank the way. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I love the beads. No, not beads. They're, the, they're rhinestone. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, coral, yeah, 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 coral, coral yes. Because yeah, oh. I'm a princess. Oh. She is a princess. She is a princess. She is, actually. That's beautiful. I love everything. It's beautiful and I want to see more mm. of you and I will make it a point of note to visit the Adire yeah the Adire textile hub Adire wow. textile it's in Ileife yeah the Ife Grand Resort okay. Ileife Ocean Ife State Resort. yeah Ife so Grand Resort it's open Resort. to the public is it it's open to the public we have three um training programs as okay. well mm. so that we train people for free in different types of Adire wow. courtesy of some of our partners like mm. um Chester right. Global now, here's Aww. what I'm going to promise you I do do a lot of touring around Nigeria oh, great yeah. now, that's going to be on my uh, um Next itinerary list. for okay. You know, the next place I'll be visiting. Maybe Fantastic. A weekend to come or so. Mm. Fantastic. Yeah, come and get your hands dirty. We'll teach you how to make adire. <laughs> I accept your challenge. Great. <laughs> Can't wait to see that one. All right. At this point, uh, we have something special happening in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And we'd like you to join us. Oh, wow.